So back from the dyno, we've got some good news and we have some bad news. Alright guys, so back from the dyno, got some good news and we have some bad news. The good news is she was working up the 600s and the bad news is the clutch wouldn't hold. Which I kind of was afraid of that just because it's a LS7 clutch. I've been running it on the car pretty hard on the LS3 for about you know three years really. So I was a little afraid that this LS7 clutch wasn't up, up to the challenge. I was just hoping it would get me through the dyno and I knew I would have to put a clutch in it soon anyway. We got probably through the third pull and it was around 620 uh, at the wheel and about 656 torque at the wheels before the clutch uh, gave out and it wouldn't hold anymore. So unfortunately we couldn't finish uh, the tune. Uh, there's, He said there's probably a little more there, probably around 630 at the wheel. And with E85, he's estimating somewhere around 670 to 680. So that I mean, that's crazy for me. Like that's way beyond what I was trying to go for with the car. But we're gonna have to come back and finish that tune once we get the clutch in. So I've ordered a new clutch that actually should be here uh, soon and I'll put out a video on that very soon uh, on what I selected for that. But we'll, I'll probably put it on next week and then we'll schedule up. He said just come on back and they'll finish up the tune and we'll be all done. But I mean honestly for this car, you know, 620, 630 at the wheel, uh, you know, and the torque, it was just phenomenal, like 656. It was basically like this right off of idle. So it was like instant torque. 
all the way through. And I think that's really what killed the clutch. Uh, the first couple pulls, uh, they were making it, you know, 606, kept creeping up and, you know, it just couldn't hold it. So, uh, you know, the good news is this thing has all the power that I could ever imagine for this setup. Um, I, this is it for me, like uh, for the street, it's going to be hard for me to put this power down anyway. So I'm super excited about the power and, uh, and what the dyno results ended up doing. And I'll get the clutch in and we'll go ahead and get the follow up and get the final numbers and I'll show you the papers and the graphs and all that good stuff. Uh, unfortunately, I just couldn't finish the dyno session uh, and you know, it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So the good news though is also everything held up great. No belt slip uh, and no vibrations. I mean, everything was just, the boost was I think about 11.6, which is pretty cool for LS3, which is a higher compression than the LSA motor. Uh, so I, everything else just checked all the boxes and went well. So, get the clutch going and then we'll uh, we'll probably do a follow-up video with the dyno and the final numbers. But guys, I'm super happy. I'm, I can still actually drive the car, uh, but when I start to get into it and I start to, I just really just start to slow roll it. And, and as soon as it gets up to like 5,000 RPM, you can feel it kind of slipping. Uh, so, probably gonna baby it for the next couple weeks just so I can still drive the car around and uh, I'm gonna borrow Buddy Mine's lift and try to get some new exhaust on as well as uh, this new clutch and we'll take it from there so I hope you guys are as pumped as I am and uh, thanks for all the likes and the comments you guys have been awesome and uh, keep those coming and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, that'll support the channel, and I really do appreciate it. We'll see you guys on the next on the next video. All right, guys. Well, that's today's video. I am super pumped, and honestly, the numbers are way more than I thought they would be. Again, we're, they're going to dial it in uh, and give give it a hundred percent once I get this new Monster LTS twin clutch in. So that's gonna be the next project. And then I also ordered a true dual exhaust from Speed Engineering. So I'm kind of changing up the exhaust after all of this work. I just, it just, the exhaust is still kind of Frankenstein in my opinion. And the exhaust shop kind of let me down. So a couple things are gonna come out of that. Once I get that clutch in, we're going to take it back. They said just bring it back and they'll finish up the NA dyno, dial that for the final number, and then the E85 tune will be next. So, man, that's pretty exciting. So, 